All right, guys, hope you're doing well. This is Lewis Rowlands here. I'm a nutritional balancing practitioner. And uh, in this video audio clip, I'm going to be talking about how to permanently overcome adrenal burnout. Now, one thing I've realized in the 10 years I've been on the adrenal burnout recovery journey um, is that adrenal burnout is in many ways difficult to overcome well in many ways it's very difficult to overcome uh, but in in other ways sort of once you understand really what it's all about it's kind of easy to overcome you know so I know there's a weird juxta, juxtaposition there but um, I'll explain it a little more in this clip so um, yeah I, I end up suffering from extreme adrenal burnout um, and uh, basically usually what happens for a lot of people uh, when they're in adrenal burnout they're not fully aware of it um, the reason being is they, yeah, they might feel fatigued they're not really functioning properly in life um, but usually what happens is people go into a sort of chronic state of fight or flight so the body's sympathetic nervous system is switched on um, so a lot of people are sort of out of touch really with the true extent of how burnt out they are because um, the sympathetic nervous system keeps the keeps a person going um, it's a little bit like um, <clears throat> you know uh, someone who's extremely tired getting through the day by drinking Red Bull it's sort of similar to that and uh, the person really doesn't understand how re how tired they are until they stop drinking the Red Bull that's keeping them going throughout the day it's a sort of a crude analogy but it's very very similar so the first thing that people run into, the first problem that people run into is what's going off. Um, most doctors uh, and the medical community uh, don't actually uh, talk about adrenal burnout, adrenal fatigue. They don't think it's real, which I find very suspicious um, because, you know, most people that I've uh, tested have got adrenal, well, pretty much I'd say, yeah, probably every initial hair test that I see uh, somewhat, uh, they've got a certain degree of burnout <clears throat> um, so yeah I find it very very suspicious how the medical community don't really talk about it or are unaware of it so the first thing is people figuring out what's actually wrong with them that's a lot that's a big problem because you know they end up getting palmed off by doctors and they say oh you should go and see a psychologist you're depressed or you know go and take this medication take that medication uh, when in reality the adrenal glands are just ex just just worn out just completely and utterly worn out so that's the first pro problem people find is um, actually figuring out what the issue is so for the uh, lucky few that begin to figure out what's going off um, they will then embark on some sort of healing program now you know when I talked about overcoming adrenal burnout is fairly easy what I mean by that is this your adrenal glands are basically absolutely and utterly worn out so the way to fix them in essence probably the most important thing to do is to allow them to rest just rest the more you can rest the quicker you will heal because that's basically what's what's wrong this is obviously more in it's a bit more involved than that but you've really got to rest without rest you're not going to get very far if you want to keep doing exercise you're not going to get very far um, so that's what I mean by you know it's kind of easy because all you've got to do is is rest but then you know there's a lot of difficult parts attached to that you know one of the uh, biggest problems people sort of come into contact with is how can they rest when they need to work um, you know go, going going through a guilt process of uh, you know if I'm just sitting around doing nothing or resting what am I doing with my life so the, this is when things become difficult because you've got to navigate all of this stuff uh, probably one of the most difficult things to navigate is finances uh, because we've all got to earn money uh, or we've got to you know come into contact with money and uh, not everyone's lucky enough to basically be funded by the parents or something similar um, so that's a big a big uh, stumbling block a big uh, problem that people need to try and 
try and figure out. Uh, the second, well, you know, we're probably moving on to the third and fourth point, um, but it's actually, it's all right resting, but what do you give the body um, and what do you, do you take out of the body to help the adrenal glands heal? Now, what you've got to put into the body is massive amounts of nutrition, um, but just not any nutrition. If you are taking, eating a lot of fruit, for example, uh, with a lot of sugar in, uh, this is going to stress out the adrenals because the adrenal glands are constantly trying to trying to deal with the blood sugar, uh, with blood sugar regulation, up and down, up and down, up and down, like a yo-yo, basically. Um, you know, other things like uh, you know, a lot of people will take uh, sort of adrenal stimulants, like uh, licorice root or ashwagandha or something similar to that um, and really you don't really want to be doing that when your adrenal glands are really burnt out um, what you want to do is, is rest them you don't want to be stimulating them and this is another big problem people come into contact with is they'll read on websites what do I do with it you know to get out of adrenal burnout and people will be giving advice and all of these things that basically stimulate the adrenal glands you know with their theory is to sort of wake them up to get them going uh, but that's not going to work you know because they're too tired you know it's like um, you know the analogy I like to use for, with people is that you know imagine that you've your body's just been going through marathon after marathon after marathon after marathon you know let's say a hundred marathons and this marathon runner is really really not doing good they know something's not quite right and they ask someone you know how why am I not feeling good you know, and, and anyone with some common sense would be like, well, you need to stop doing marathons because you're just wearing the body out. Um, and uh, in order to overcome it, it's not about drinking Red Bull or, you know, taking glucose or, um, or you know, taking um, adrenal hormones like, um, you know, some people go on adrenal replacement, etc. you know, it's like uh, giving adrenal replacement to a marathon runner. It's not really solving the problem. You know what I mean? The problem really is going to get solved when the marathon runner stops running marathons and rests for a considerable amount of time for the adrenal glands to rebuild itself so you've got natural energy. Um, and then what you've got to do is you've got to remove things from the body that's holding the body back. Toxins, heavy metals, um, toxic chemicals, so, you know, doing detox protocols is important, but not any old detox protocol. You know, some detox protocols work very well. Some, some people do detoxification protocols without supporting the body. So the body ends up getting stressed out even more. They might take something like bentonite clay or spirulina, which end up, end up unbalancing body chemistry even more. You know, so even doing detox can actually uh, prolong the problem and cause even more problems for some people uh, when suffering from adrenal burnout. And probably the last thing um, which is a real challenge for people is actually coming into contact with how utterly exhausted you are underneath. Uh, once this marathon runner stops running marathons, i.e. your body slowed down and you've come out of chronic fight or fly or chronic sympathetic dominance likely what could happen is you go, you, your body basically collapses imagine the marathon runner who who's just in bed for a month after it's just after they've just run a hundred marathons you know and they're like oh my god this is horrendous I'm feeling worse you know I'm, I'm, I'm feeling uh, even worse than when I was running marathons and anyone with any logic would look at that marathon runner and say well no wonder you're feeling tired you just run a hundred marathons your body's completely exhausted you've collapsed for a month you've got to stay in bed for as long as it takes for your body to rebuild itself and basically come out of adrenal burnout so in order to permanently come out of adrenal burnout there's numerous things that you have to put into play but once you know the jigsaw puzzle, it's actually fairly straightforward. It's not a really complex problem to fix. Um, you know, it's basically rest, nutrition, and detoxification. You know, but the 
complexity comes when you don't have the right nutrition, you don't do the right detoxification protocols, and you don't put enough weight on the importance of rest. All right, so I'm gonna keep it short and sweet for anyone that's wanting to start a nutritional balancing program that I used to overcome my adrenal burnout problems. Give me a shout at lewis at deephealingspace.com. Thanks for watching.